If you are new here to Geekdom 101, make sure you subscribe and enable all notifications by hitting the bell. And also make sure your devices have notifications for YouTube turned on so you don't miss a single video when they drop. On this channel, we discuss all things Dragon Ball movies, manga, and anime, and much more. And I thank you for eight years of support. Now let's get to the video. I want to talk about Black Frieza and how strong he is. Ever since we saw Black Frieza debut in the summer of 2022, we've been wondering just how strong he got. This dude one-shotted Ultra Ego Vegeta and True Ultra Instinct Goku, something we never thought we'd ever see in the series. And since then, the speculation has been rampant about just how strong is he. We've had a lot of discussions about it here all over the web and... There's been a lot of arguments, you know, is Frieza, has he surpassed Beerus? Has he surpassed Whis? Is he close? We may have some answers. So first of all, I want to say that there's a lot of debate among the fandom and I'm going to do the best I can to kind of explain things as clearly as possible. So this scan right here that you see on your screen appeared in the latest V-Jump magazine, the one that had Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 101 on it. And it talked about... Black Frieza and what he did. So this is this wasn't in the American Viz version, but it's kind of teasing that Black Frieza is coming. Whether it be soon or whether it be down the road, we know that there's going to be a battle at some point with Black Frieza. But like I said, how strong is he? So one thing we have to 100% understand, you guys have to understand this, because if you don't, it's not going to make any sense, okay? The anime and the manga, Dragon Ball Super, the anime and the manga, at this point, I have been wondering about this, and this kind of solidifies it. It's two different continuities, and they have two different sets of power scaling. If you remember, during Dragon Ball Super's anime run, they stated that Jiren was stronger than a god of destruction. They said he was the mortal that was stronger than a god of destruction. They didn't specify which G.O.D. Because clearly the gods of destruction all have different ranges of power. But the idea was he is above god of destruction tier. So when Goku did Ultra Instinct with the silver hair. And he was able to defeat Jiren in Dragon Ball Super episode 130. Uh, it basically told us that okay. Ultra Instinct Goku has surpassed the being that surpassed gods of destruction. So... If you remember, there were numerous, and I mean numerous, clues given to us over and over and over again that by the end of the super anime, Goku was either beyond Beerus or very close to being beyond Beerus. In fact, even before the fight with Jiren, going back to when Goku used the Kaioken against Hit, the Kaioken Blue, he told Beerus that he was preparing that technique for him and Beerus was sweating. There's tons of evidence to show that Goku has been closing the gap with Beerus. However, remember how Toyotaro in an interview said that Goku still has not surpassed Beerus yet? So if you're wondering, well, how come at first V-Jump Magazine, the Dragon Ball Super anime, and several statements from characters as well as real-life producers stated that Goku was beyond God level? Why is it that now that doesn't appear to be the case? That's because the anime and the manga have two different types of power scaling. Beerus is clearly more powerful in the manga. And Ultra Instinct is not as powerful. If you remember, in the Tournament of Power, the manga version, Goku did not defeat Jiren. Remember that. He did good against him, but he did not beat him. In the anime, he did. So... The translation here, according to Herms, he states that on the bottom right down here, it says that Frieza, this is about Black Frieza, and this is going to give us way more context here, that Frieza is close to even a God of Destruction. So, he's close to a God of Destruction level, but not quite the same. So that means that even though we saw Black Frieza, One Shot, Ultra Instinct, True UI Goku, and Ultra Ego Vegeta... He is still not at God Destruction level. Now, part of me wants to call shenanigans on that, man. Part of me is like, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. This dude trained for 10 years in a dimension that's like the time chamber. 
this guy is far and away beyond any villain we've seen in Dragon Ball thus far. And he easily, because this paragraph right here literally says that Black Frieza easily knockouts, easily KOs Goku and Vegeta, even though they've reached the level of the gods. And that Frieza's power is immeasurable. The word that is used in that paragraph right there on the left, according to Herms, is immeasurable power. Now, don't get confused here. Remember the Dragon Ball Super manga. We saw Beerus do things in the manga that he never did in the anime. There was a battle royale, if you remember, like a training battle royale with the with the gods of destruction before the tournament of power, and we saw Beerus just throwing hands. It was awesome. Anime-wise, we didn't see that. It seems to me like the producers of the Dragon Ball Super anime wanted to take the series in a direction where Goku and Jiren were on par with Beerus or above. And again, we have numerous statements. If you were around back then in 2018 and 2017, you remember this. I may do a whole video with evidence. I actually have tons of data on this and I may do a video down the road. If you want that video, let me know in the comments down below. I can show you all the proof. But then, later on, we find out from Toyo Toro that they're not on the God of Destruction level. And now, according to this V-Jump statement, even Black Frieza is close to a God of Destruction. But it's weird, though. The wording is very strange. Because it says that Goku's reached the Goku and Vegeta have reached the level of the gods... But it says Frieza's close to a God of Destruction. So that can be a bit confusing. Because when you hear them say level of the gods. That would imply gods of destruction, angels, whatever. I don't think that's referring to like the Kais. Because Goku has been more powerful than the Supreme Kais since the Buu Saga. This is nothing. Like the, the, the Supreme Kais are nothing compared to Goku at this point in the series. So obviously they're talking about the God's Destruction. The power scaling in the manga is very, very strange. But the best way to follow it is all the hype that they gave the anime for that Goku Jiren fight. I think a lot of that was just hype to get everybody on board. One thing I've talked to you guys about for years is that the Japanese love to use these hyperbolic statements to hype people up. So whenever a new villain shows up or someone gets a new form, they'll say, oh, this is the strongest. Gohan Beast is the strongest. Cell Max is stronger than Broly or would be if he was complete. You always hear these things because they have to go bigger. They have to go better with their promotion. So it could be that the producers of Dragon Ball Super, the anime back in 2018, thought it would make sense to have Goku and Jiren be above Beerus, or at least maybe slightly above him, or at least in that range. If you don't think Goku surpassed Beerus, then that's fine. Maybe he just came close. But according to this manga, even Black Frieza, after 10 years of training, has not surpassed Beerus. The reality is, y'all, that Beerus is a moving goalpost. Beerus is a character that continues to get stronger the longer the series goes, because I feel like Toyotaro and Toriyama don't want Goku to hit that level just yet. I think that they might be at some point planning to give us that long-awaited Goku versus Beerus rematch, which at this point happened over 10 years ago. Battle of Gods came out in 2013, y'all. That was a while ago. That was 11 years ago. And we still haven't gotten the Goku Beerus rematch. And it seems like they keep building up Goku and Vegeta to eventually hit these levels. But the fact that Frieza, who one-shotted them, is still not at Beerus' level, that's insanity. Like, if there was ever any more proof that Beerus is a moving goalpost and that they will continue to move that goalpost, what that means, guys, is that they're going to keep saying that Beerus is stronger even if it makes no sense. If you do calculations here, based on how much time Frieza trained, based on how strong Goku and Vegeta got during the battles with Granola and Gas and all those guys, Goku and Vegeta, in theory, should have already surpassed Beerus. At least Goku with UI. Logically. But that's not the case. Not according to Toyotaro. So clearly, 
the manga version of Beerus has been scaled up, has been highballed, and Ultra Instinct has been a bit lowballed. Might be a letdown to many of you guys, but that's just how it is. I mean, there's there's proof. There's so much evidence of this in the manga if you read it. And like I said, I can do a whole video on it. But I wanted to do this quick video to go through this with you guys. So now we know just how strong Black Frieza is. He's near God of Destruction, but not quite there. I call BS on that, bro. I think Black Frieza should have been way past that if you train for 10 years. You know how long that is? Think about how long that is. Anyways, y'all, take care. See you in the next video.